Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. I hope you've been doing well. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's title is Video Games Two Sides. So we see the apostrophe and the S on the game. So we're saying the two sides, right? The two different ways that we can look at video games, right? So video games has two sides, probably one good and probably one bad. So let's take a look at what today's articles are. Uh, it says, what are the pros and cons of video games? So pros and cons is something that we do when we think about what the good and the bad are. So the pros are the positives, the good, and the cons are the negatives or the bad, right? So the pros and cons of video games. Korea is a giant in the online gaming industry, but youth addiction to games is a growing social problem in the country. So we know in Korea, we love our video games. We, he, we have things called uh, the PC bang or the PC room. Uh, and that has been a huge uh, popular place to go, very popular place to go for young people. So we see, we see that Korea is in love with video games, right? So I remember when I was younger, I used to play StarCraft and I got into that video gaming thing, but Korea is really all about video games. So let's see uh, what it says here. A giant in the online gaming industry. Industry is the business, right, of uh, online gaming. But youth addiction, addiction is something that uh, some people say that it is a disease. It's a mental problem. Uh, it's where all you do is think about it. You cannot get enough of it. So let's say, for example, I was addicted to honey butter chips and that's the only thing I want to eat. I think about it all the time and that's all I want to eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Then people can say, wow, you are addicted to those chips. So addiction is something that you want to do, uh, but it's not a healthy thing. You want to keep doing it and that's all you think about. So it's an unhealthy obsession or unhealthy wanting to do something so that's called an addiction so a lot of young people right all they do is think about games they want to play games right they're addicted to games and this is a growing social problem in the country so social meaning in our community or when you interact with people all around you so social meaning the problem in the country right so a lot of students they cannot concentrate and that's one of the pros no that's one of the cons right that's one of the bad things about video games okay so let's look at the first paragraph here video games make players think and can boost creativity and imagination so video games this is obviously the pros this is the good things it helps the people playing the video games kind of imagine that uh, they are in the game and it boosts or it helps them become more creative and have greater imagination. So it helps them kind of create more things in their minds and they can uh, be more imaginative. So the human mind is conditioned to think like the characters being played in games like StarCraft or Pokemon. So it says that the way that our brains work when you're doing something, we put ourselves in that position or in that situation. So whenever we play a game like StarCraft, it's like you're there. That's how we are thinking. So that's one of the good things. So it says video games take users to different environments with tasks and levels to be unlocked. And in the end, players get points and rewards. So it's good because it gives us challenges. It gives us tasks or things that we must do. And it gives us environments, different settings that we can go and play. And we have challenges that we have to unlock, right? Or win. And in the end, we get points and rewards. So there's something good for us for the hard work that we put in into these video games. So lastly, it says video games are also fun when played with others as a great way to relax and de-stress. So D means uh, lower or get rid of. So it's a great way to get rid of stress and relax. And whenever you play games with your friends, it doesn't have to be video games, but whenever you play board games or whenever you do sports with, or play sports with your friends, it's fun. So they're saying that in the same way when you play online games or video games, it can be very relaxing and very fun. So obviously, those are the good reasons, those are the pros. Let's look at the cons. But playing video games too much is bad, right? So we know that too much of anything can be bad. Uh, a video game, a few video games contain violence that could affect how players respond to real life violence by making them less sensitive to it. So violence, violence is uh, very aggressive or not very kind action. So violence is hitting, it's strong language, it's when people swear, right? But it's usually something physical that hurts someone else. Okay, so violence can also be verbal too, so you can say bad things and hurt someone's feeling. So anything that would hurt people, either with their body or with their mind or their heart, that's violence, right? So a lot of video games or a few video games contain violence that could affect how players respond. Respond is how they act 
to real life violence. So if I play a lot of violent video games, let's say I play games where there's a lot of shooting or punching or bad language, then when I see something like that in real life, let's say for example at school, uh, I wouldn't be shocked by it. That's what it's saying, right? M less sensitive. So you would not react right away. You'd kind of look at it and be like, ah, I've seen that before, right? So that's a problem if people are not sensitive to problems like violence. It says too much exposure. Exposure means you see it too much, you hear it too much, right? You're playing it too much, that's exposure. Uh, too much exposure to video games also means less time for studying and exercise, which can lead to poor mental and physical health. So if you spend all your time inside of a room playing video games in front of a screen, well, that's not good for your health. You're not running, you're not exercising, you're not getting fresh air. Also, you are spending too much time on video games and less time reading your books or studying for your tests. So that's not good. So poor mental, which is your mind, and physical, which is your body. So you will have health that is not good in those two areas. So the last sentence says, the brain works better when people exercise and move rather than remaining stationary in front of a flashing screen. So it says our brain is healthier, it can work better if you're moving around, seeing different things, talking to people, exercising, rather than staying stationary. Stationary means still you're not moving, right? So if I'm, staying, uh, if I'm sitting in front of a computer or in front of a television for hours and hours, I'll be stationary. And that's not very good for our brain. So if you look at the video games, Maybe you like video games, maybe you don't, but we need to understand the pros and the cons. Before we can make a decision, always think about the good things about the topic and the bad things, and we learned it today. So the good things, it can help you uh, improve your creativity and imagination. Bad things, it's not good for your health. It can also make you less sensitive to violence. So now that we know about video games, let's go and organize what we've learned today. So let's look at our questions. As you, as you can see, these are children playing video games. They look like they're having fun, but they're not moving. They're probably stationary. And hopefully, it's not a violent game. But let's look at the questions. It says, video games make players think and can boost something and imagination. So imagination, we said, is the ability to think of, right? And can boost an ability to make something or we said creativity or create, right? So create means make. So it gives them the ideas to make something new, right? So it can boost or increase their creativity and imagination. So let's look at the second question. Why is playing video games bad for you? So we talked about this in the cons. A few video games contain something that can affect how players respond to real life violence by making them less sensitive to it. So less sensitive means they're not aware, uh, they're not quick to catch it. So video games contain something bad. So we said it hurts people and we see it in the sentence too. Uh, whether you hurt them physically or mentally, verbally, it's violence, right? So uh, a few video games contain violence, right? That could be very, uh, very bad for students when they see it in real life. So let's look at the last question. When does the brain work better? Does it work better when we're sitting in a screen watching a lot of flashing lights? It says the brain works better when people something and move rather than remaining stationary in front of a flashing screen. So not sitting in front of a screen, sitting still, sitting stationary, but it works better when people what? When people exercise. So when we're running, when we're playing sports, when we're going up and down the stairs, or whatever the case may be, our brain works better. Probably something to do with getting more oxygen, right? The blood flow is very important. So when you're still, you're probably not getting your heart beat up, right? So these are things that we learned in today's article. So let's fill in the blank and uh, look at these sentences that we have to finish for today. So it says, A, Korea is a giant in the online gaming industry, but youth something to games is a growing social problem in the country. So we said that liking something is not a problem, but if that's all you think about, if you want to do it right from morning all the way to night, that's all you think about and you can't do anything else, we said that's an unhealthy problem and that's called addiction, right? So people are addicted to different things. Some people are addicted to shopping. Some people are addicted to junk food, right? Some people are addicted to video games. So addiction is an unhealthy wanting or thinking about something. Uh, let's look at B. Video games are also fun when played with others as a great way to something and de-stress. So de-stress we said is get rid of stress, lower your stress. We said it's a great way to have fun, right? So great way to relax. Relax is kind of you know, a good way to kind of stop thinking about the things that you're worrying about and you can kind of relax and take a breath, right? So that's relax and de-stress. So it's a good way to kind of take your mind off of things and have fun. 
Uh, lastly, too much something to video games also means less time for studying and exercise, which can lead to poor mental and physical health. So we said mental is your mind and physical is your body. So too much something to video games. So too much what to video games? Too much exposure. So we said exposure means you're seeing it, you're playing it, you're talking about it, you're hearing it. That's all exposure. So a lot of these things that we learned today are things that maybe you're dealing with right now. Um, maybe you know people who all they talk about is video games. Uh, maybe you know people who don't exercise too much and all they want to do is stay inside, stationary. So I hope that when you think about that issue, this hot topic of video games, there are some benefits, there are some pros, but at the same time, there are some negatives or some cons. So I hope that as we learn today, whenever you look at a new topic or a hot topic like video games, think about the pros and the cons before you make your decision. So I hope you have a good balance. So as we learn today, too much of anything uh, could be harmful, too much video games, too, too long uh, of sitting down in one spot and, and watching and playing video games is not good for your health. So make sure that you balance and think about the pros and cons. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.